Hello guys, uh, welcome back to my channel, Trends Automation Destination. So in continuation to our previous uh, lecture uh, about BTD, so we are going to discuss about few more topics on BTD today. So before we uh, jump on to that, first we are going to discuss about what we have covered so far. So we have covered what is feature file and how to create a feature file in BTD. Okay. And what are the different keywords available within the BTD? Okay, so this particular thing is covered in the previous lecture, which I'll be keeping it into the description. Now we are going to uh, move on, like what are the step definition and what is the need of having the step definitions. Okay, so uh, in order to jump, uh, uh, to understand this, let me jump onto the code part. Okay, so this is the code part. Okay, so last time we were discussing that this is the feature file. I have uh, made it a bit uh, more clarified and i'm going to use one sample application which is this triple uh, um, w dot uh, source demo dot com let me show you the same so if you look at it this is the application which uh, we are going to use right so i'm using this particular application for this particular uh, pdd series right so these are some of the acceptance uh, accepted usernames right so we can use any of the usernames and the password is going to be the secret underscore source so let me come back to the uh, code. So if you look at it, uh, we have written this feature file. So we, we learned about how to write the feature file, right? And uh, then uh, we wrote uh, this uh, feature step. So everything under, so we, we talked about feature, what is feature, what is scenario. And we talked about the various keywords as well in the previous uh, lecture. So if you want to uh, learn about those, you need to go back to that previous video. Okay, so if you look at it, given user has launched URL. So this is the URL which we want to uh, like launch. And then after what we want, we want to well, uh, like log in into the application with valid credentials. So in this case, user has logged in. Instead, we can make it like user has entered, entered valid credentials, let us say. Okay. And uh, I'm going to copy the same your user has entered the credentials let us take it this so that i'll be able to use it in the next step as well right so user has entered the credentials so in this case i have taken the same username which is uh, like accepted username and corresponding password but in this case i'm keeping the uh, the password as uh, like incorrect so that it will fail right so what i'm going to do now after uh, like we are first launching the url then we are entering the valid credentials Later on, we are, we are clicking on login button and at last we are verifying the products of the dashboard. Okay, so let me show you what we want actually. So let me copy this uh, username and uh, then let me copy the password as well. So I'm copying this password, I logged in. So this is what I want to verify after I got logged in. So right now we are going to write a plain code. So step by step we will be discussing and we will be segregating it further, right? segregating the framework further i mean like page of the uses of page object and various other layers driver and all so uh, in this particular lecture we are going to discuss about how to create the step definition so step definition is nothing but corresponding to each feature step or each test case step we should have some java code binded with this feature step so that uh, we should be able to write our code because in actual the code is required to deal with the automation or to deal with or to interact with the ui right so or in case of api automation um, the code is required to hit the http endpoints right or rest endpoints i mean so how we are going to write uh, this particular step definition so first what you can do you can run this particular file right when you will run this particular file you will get something like that your step definitions uh, you can implement this step step undefined so step undefined means we don't have the corresponding step definition so let me do one thing so what we need to do you need to copy this particular thing and uh, copy it as it is and this is a java code so we need to keep it under src test java so under src test java what i have done i have created one folder by right clicking and i have added this package okay so in terms of java it is package and in resources it would be uh, directory right when we create okay so yeah so I'm coming to this. I have then added one class uh, by right clicking on this. I have added Java class and I have given name login step dev. So corresponding to login dot feature, I have created one login step dev. 
okay so now when you have copied this what you need to do you copied it now you need to go here and uh, this class is already created uh, when you need to just directly uh, paste it right this is one way okay so what you need to do if you see this is uh, there are some errors so what you need to do you need to import this particular given okay so if you look at it you have imported given and uh, this is then then is not imported yeah but in order to use these annotations what we need we need one uh, library or one dependency which is this uh, io.cucumber cucumber java client right which i'll be putting it into the description so we'll be moving step by step right uh, without uh, hurrying now but uh, if you look at it what we are doing um, so we are using io.cucumber this right so if you look at it it has given some uh, like long uh, method name so if you look at this first of all this is what user has launched you can relate it with user has launched url now you see that there is no highlighted thing we can directly navigate between feature file and step definition correct so if you look at this this is something irrelevant username user has it is relevant i mean but it is not that fascinating so what we can uh, write we can give it name uh, launch url okay so this is about launching the url so so if uh, for example we have passed a parameter right if you look at it user has launched url and this is a parameter string parameter so um, cucumber understand it by curly braces and we need to pass small string and then after we need to pass the same string and you can name it like url okay so to increase the readability we are doing like this okay now we can write our code in this particular um, set of uh, curly braces right in the next step user has entered the credentials right so if you look at it if you look at login dot feature so this is something about data table okay which we will be discussing in the later sessions what is data table right so we are entering the data in the form of data table right so if you look at it it has used data table as well okay in this case you won't get it under this you will get the same line but you would need one data table so let me uh, write it in some clean format io.cucumber.data table right so this is how we can use instead of writing it like that so data table means or you can name it like credentials okay to increase the readability similarly for login and i can change the method name as well so well uh, enter credentials okay so we are not going to discuss about uh, like uh, the code that will be discussing in the later sessions in the in the upcoming sessions right okay so now user has uh, clicked on login click on login this is what i'm going to give the method name right and uh, i need to remove this particular line of code so that i can write my own code okay and user verify dashboard so what we can do user verify dashboard okay so in this particular code we are going to write um, uh, the assertions okay so string user verified this uh, products on the dashboard if you go on this particular line user verify products on the dashboard okay so now if you will see you can name it like uh, item or element element on a page right so this is what you are going to verify so this is now we can navigate between the uh, feature step and step definition so this is how we write our feature file and this is how we write the corresponding step definitions right so if you look at this particular thing and you go to java code so this is the binding that we need to provide so this is what cucumber understand and this is what java understand so this is this whole is a binding right so this is how we can write the step definition and how we can link it right so if you look at it i provided the step definition for this it is working for this one as well right and it is working for this one as well I, even i for example i want to verify some other thing let us say um dashboard i want to verify still the step definition will stay so this is how we can uh, achieve the reusability as well and you have noticed uh, it is given and and then right so likewise it written given and and then but we can change the order as well but like it it, it won't have any impact on that we can import it right so it it doesn't have any impact right 
so whatever we have written given when then this is for the readability purpose so these are some of the keyword this is for tagging it but it has no meaning like whether we, we use given when or then but to increase the readability we are supposed to provide in this fashion only so given stand for the precondition and it it should actually come in when right uh, user click on login then we are verifying right so if i for example go here still it is navigating to this still uh, we can change it to when okay so that we increase the readability so let me import this as well okay now i'm verifying this user verify products so this is what is the step definition um, so in the upcoming session we are going to write the code uh, and we are going to deep dive into it so stay tuned uh, for more updates this is it for now please share like and subscribe if you really find it useful thank you for now